Hello everyone, my name is MJ. I do American style mukbang. So forget to subscribe and like to this video. Guys, I'm in Boston. Got some makeup on my hands. I'm in Boston, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, really. Like, dang. Like, y'all be watching my videos and not be subscribing. I got uh the smoke shop here in Cambridge in Boston. So let's try that. Okay, so I ordered three sides and three meats. Um, we got the coleslaw, some type of sauce. I don't know what that sauce is. And I got the zucchini salad, which I'm excited to try. Oh, this must be the cornbread, guys. Oh, okay, let's quickly try that. Everything is a bit cold, but it should still hold up and still taste quite good, so. That's not bad. Putting that aside. And then get the meats out on the fork. Boston is such a beautiful place. And I have so many good things to say about it. So many wonderful people. And it's the scenery is incredible. And sometimes I just like to just drive around. Like today. Drive around and just look at what Boston has to offer. The buildings and everything is just so gorgeous. So we got us some ribs, got us some ribs. So it comes with, um, okay, so I did tell them to give me three ribs, um, ribs and just wings, but it looks like they give me a brisket. So that's what everything be looking like. I'll try and prop it up so y'all can see it. That's gonna be hard. Guys, I'm in Boston, I'm helping out with family and I just love it here. I honestly just wanna move down and I've been wanting to move down for many years. Mm. Mm. It is good. Mm. It doesn't have a lot of sauce on it though. So I don't know. I have my finger. Um half of my nail is gone. I know. It's a story I'll tell you guys another time. I'm okay. It does hurt though when I put water on it. Mm. The rings taste good. It's kind of sweet and hard. Mm. I don't know if that's not necessarily a good thing though. Anyways, guys, I am filled with so much love here. My Thanksgiving was really good. We had so much food. I'm pretty sure like a lot of our food has just got finished. We ate a lot of our food. My brother ate so much. I made bacon wrapped turkey for Thanksgiving. And if you want to see how that turned out, check out my Instagram. It is so good. And um, the wings are quite good, y'all. So anyways, we have some background. My TV's on in the house, so sorry for that. And honestly, Thanksgiving was great this year. I'm so happy I came down. Hop out with family, spend time, spend time with family. So there are some things I do want to talk about. So many things happened over the past few weeks. Mm. Number one, um, Oh, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Please do. I'm on the 500. I know it's taking me a minute, but we will get there. We will thrive and we will grow. Um, So, Kyle Rittenhouse, if you don't know him, like living under a rock once again, was um, found not guilty of all counts when it came to him shooting a couple of people who were chasing after him. One was holding a skateboard. The other one was throwing something at him, I believe. Um, and it took a few weeks to, for them to figure out, um, how to go about it for the prosecutors to figure out how they're going to get him. He was a 17 year old child who came to a rally with a machine gun. Um, and this is a coleslaw y'all see that again with coleslaw, coleslaw, the sauce shouldn't be 
the everything i should still be able to taste the cabbage and i love cabbage it is complementing everything it is quite good i'll leave that so kyle rittenhouse saw two people and i'm telling y'all when i say we are coming for him i'm coming for some of y'all too let me tell you something whoever is out here in these streets trying to hold a machine gun in their home a gun so let me tell y'all in canada guns people don't have guns out and about oh shoot i'll clean it up later but anyways that's the zucchini salad it's basically a cucumber to zucchini with with dressing on it guys so that's what it's looking like people don't have guns in canada on their person you know what i mean they don't carry it around in fact the only way you can use a gun in canada is if you're on a shooting range or if you're killing animals you know in a protective area in a certain area where you can only use guns that's the only way and of course there's license so you cannot carry a gun around in canada you really can't yeah but here in america y'all and your second amendment y'all are here saying mm, i'm gonna call i need to have a gun in my house i need to have a gun wherever i go because it's i'm trying to protect myself with a machine gun unless you have a gang coming after you a very powerful gang or uh, a very uh person who's threatening you or, or abusing you you should not have a gun in your home or on your person or taking it to school or taking it to the grocery store tell me tell me how you need a gun to protect yourself against someone at the grocery store but y'all like i need to have a gun i need to carry this i need it uh-oh. So, Kyle Rittenhouse was in a rally. One of those rallies last year. He shot two people. Because there were... Honestly, they were chasing after him. They were threatening him. But he thought that shooting them would stop them. Not knowing that shooting them would kill them. Like, this is what I don't understand. No. Who you go? Found not guilty. Because y'all laws protected him. Y'all laws protected his butt. Okay. The prosecutors honestly did not do a great of a job. The defense did a really great job to argue um, that Kyle was actually defending himself. Let's try it with some of the sauce. Y'all, I don't know what this sauce is. It's kind of like a barbecue sauce, I believe. But they didn't give me a lot of it. So I'm like, what's the point of this? It's not bad. It's a bit tangy. Anyways, y'all, defense did a really great job. And I don't get it. There are people in the UK, law enforcement, in the UK, in Europe, who do not have guns, and they're they're fine, they're fine. But we Americans have to have guns for what stupid reason? A a machine that will kill you in less than a second. I don't understand. So now, the Kyle Rittenhouse case has basically proven that you can defend yourself with a gun. You can defend yourself with a gun against a person who has a skateboard and a bag full of rocks. Good job. Good job, guys! But yeah, like, oh, I need to have my gun on me. I need to be protecting myself. Against who? Why do you need a gun to go to the wine store? Why do you need a gun to go to your PTA meeting? Why do you need a gun to go to your work meeting? Please, please educate me.
I don't get it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all, y'all gone Lars here are no joke. Let's try this. I told them not to give me this. It is so big, y'all. Honestly, I'm really loving the coleslaw. I really like the coleslaw, guys. Um, let's try this. Mm. Um, damn, with that bread, with that brisket. Oh my God. So, y'all like, um, I need him. We need a we need a machine gun. Now look up. His team was successfully to prove, yeah, a machine gun was necessary in this case because he was defending his life. It's all crazy. And I'm also so very happy. Not very happy. Not also, but another another great and great news that Ahmed Arbery's killers are going to jail. They're, they were found guilty. I'm very happy about that. Mm. I'm very, very happy about that, y'all. That boy was running, doing a jog, and he was shot down by three white guys. Three racist white guys. And, I, and I'm going to say that confidently because they said an N-word slur at him. So, so y'all, please put put your put your thoughts in the comments about about guns. Why do you need guns? I really don't understand. In Canada, we are out here, guys. That's our street program. So I never really understand that. And honestly, now we're all, now we're all rethinking things, right? Now we're all rethinking. She wouldn't really need a gun on us. Because if a 17-year-old boy, and other people saying he's a child, if he's holding a machine gun, if his parents taught him to be a machine gun, he's a man. He's a man in the eyes of the law. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I even broke down crying. Broke down crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You knew what that gun was gonna do to people. And you be crying. Don't play with me. Uh-uh. A 17 year old kid knows the difference between right and wrong. Knows the difference what... No, knows what will happen once you shoot a machine gun. And it's not a necessary amount of force. It really isn't. Running after them. Right. Running, maybe using a stick to defend yourself, not a whole gun. Because once that person dies, that is their 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 blood is on you. I don't get it. You know, I don't really don't understand. You will be like, mm. Mm. this bread that they use is so sweet and so good. I ate a lot of carbs today, y'all, so I can eat that. Mm. Mm. Well, I still have two wings, one brisket, and one rib left. I'm going to ring. Let me all know. This was good. I'll definitely get the brisket and the wings again, the coleslaw, and then maybe the cornbread, but not the greatest amount of corn, not the greatest taste of cornbread that I've ever had. Now, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment because I love y'all to the moon and back. Y'all know that. And thank you so much for rocking with me. I hope y'all had an amazing Thanksgiving. I did. And I'll see you guys next week. Mm, guys, I gotta go use the washroom. This is so good. It's running me through. I don't know that's a good thing about them. What about them? Mm. Anyway. Stay woke to help stay safe. Ciao.